All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is XXX Sensation. Vlog number two. Wrote some notes down to try to keep this focused so we don't waste each other's time. Um, I want to talk really quick on what has been happening this last week um, with X. Uh, I've decided to take a stand against this fake hanging video that he put on Instagram to promote um, 17. I want to run through quickly why I believe that was promo. It came out, boom, the night before his album 17 dropped. Boom. Was uploaded without context. We'll get back to context in a minute. Was uploaded without context. That's important. There was no comment. Nothing. Three, he denied completely that it was promotion or that he'd ever joke around about suicide or play with suicide. However, if you look, he still hasn't taken the video down. You can go look at it. If you look at it, it was very clear that that wasn't a shot from the Riot video. The Riot video was third person from a rig, which means like it was somebody manning a camera. The video he uploaded was a handheld rig. However, it was very professionally done, which means it was probably shot additional to the Riot footage to make a point. So those are the reasons I believe that that was a promo attempt. Again, the night before, no context. It created a black hole. Um, and, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about context right now. So context, I've been in comedy for years, and I had a bunch of people write me being like, hey, man, why don't you just take the joke? Take a little bit of dark humor. He's, he's joking about domestic violence victims. He's talking about uh, violating the throat of like the, the sisters of the people that critique him. Uh, anyway, let's, again, talk about context. Um, I've been in comedy for a while, so like context is a big part of it. Context is the difference between, like, let's say like someone's got a gun to your head and says, I'm going to kill you. You'll probably be like, oh, he's got a gun, context clues, he's going to kill me. But if you're in the middle of a Monopoly game and someone's like, oh, I'm going to kill you, that might not really be the case because it's just a game of Monopoly unless your family is like that crazy. It's like they were going to kill you over a Monopoly game, which like maybe it got that far. Who knows? But what I'm trying to say is like context clues. Context is important. Comments are important. Like a description is important. And he uploaded that video without a description, leading a lot of us to be like, he wanted us to talk about it. He wanted us to fill in the blank. And he got exactly what he wanted. He got, you know, Everyday Struggle was talking about it. You know, articles were popping up. Twitter was a buzz. Like, is he dead? I got DMs. I literally wrote a cover song of, of Jocelyn Flores. Rest in peace to Jocelyn. Like, I, I had to write that song about that situation because it was a, just a mind-bending moment to see a young artist who apparently is speaking for those who are depressed and speaking for those who are suicidal to use suicide as promotion. You lost my respect, X. You totally lost my respect there. Like, I deal with depression. I have loved ones who have dealt with depression. You don't play with that. That's, that's not yours to play with. Um, I'm not saying you haven't had your share of woes, uh, but bruh, no. You keep your hands off of that. I'm trying really hard not to swear right now because I'm, I'm passionate about this. But anyway, so again, context is big. People have like come at me and been like, yo, what about that Tyler, the creator video where he hangs himself? What about that? Uh, what about that? Uh, the G Erbo video where by the end of the video, he's like, he's hung. And again, context, bro. Like Tyler ate a cockroach at, in a music video. And like by the end of the music video, like he did that, he hung himself. Uh, same with Giorbo. It was a whole. You were watching the parallel between a court case and an actual uh, lynching. That that's a political statement. There was no context with this. It was just uploaded uh, offhand. So this brings me to my last point, and it's this uh, this idea that X just said he's going to start doing interviews and going out and sharing his message. And I just want to implore you guys again. Do not listen to his words. Listen to his actions, all right? Because actions define your character. It's not what you say. It's what you do. If I say I'm going to the store and instead I go and kill somebody, it doesn't matter that I said I was going to the store. I killed somebody. So that's, that's what I'm touching on is like don't let whatever he's about to say in these interviews at all cloud you knowing that people who stand for equality are not going to talk about women the way he talks about women. 
People who stand for equality are not going to make fun of domestic uh, violence victims the way he made fun of them. They're not going to pretty much do anything that I've seen him do in the last two months. Um, the only thing I remember him saying he was going to do, uh, actually it was two things. It was one, he was said he was going to fly people out to California to listen to his album if they did the Look At Me Challenge. I never saw any winner of that. Did anybody ever see any winner of that? Please comment if you saw a winner of that. Second, he said he would buy uh, groceries for people in Florida. That was right when he got out of jail. He said he was going to buy grocery people uh, for people in Florida. Has he done that? Please let me know if he's done that. Because, again, we need to be holding people accountable because it's not enough to say you're going to do something. You've really got to do it. You've really got to believe uh, in the character of a person before, you know, you can support them. And, and I, what I'm afraid of is I'm watching all these young people squabble with me in the comment sections. Cause I'm not going down without a fight. I'm not about to like be talking to people about how like it's a, you know, this is, this is a serious subject. And I know that like a lot of people don't want to think of it as serious or don't want to think about it, uh, as, uh, important. But again, this isn't just hip hop. This is American culture right now. This is like going on this. I know it's a young demographic, but those are our future presidents. Those are our future congressmen and, and, and ladies. And like, if you at all care about this and you have friends who, again, are aware of this, please talk to them. Have this dialogue because no one's going to do it for you. No one's going to sit you down and, and make you understand context or make you understand what makes a man's character or a woman's character. And no one's going to, you know, uh, be real with you. So, again, I'm trying to be real. I'm probably going to get chewed out for this. But at the same point, like, I'd rather... Uh, stand for something then fall for that because I I'm not falling for it uh, the music X keep pushing yourself musically but holy heck like check yourself man because if you don't wreck yourself one of us might <laughs>